Tony and Tim show. We're back again after a very blistering weekend. Big, big games. Chelsea yeah. losing 6-0 in the heaviest defeat that they've suffered in 28 years. Yeah, Tony, the heaviest defeat. We, we, we said this before that Chelsea blows hot and cold. They, they, they lost two weeks ago, I think, 4-0 against Bournemouth. And they'd say the heaviest defeat in the Premier League era. And now 6-0. Something has changed in Chelsea, Tony. Something has changed. Totally unacceptable. Manchester City beating Chelsea six goals to nil at the Etihad Stadium. Those goals coming from a uh, hat trick from Sergio Aguero, yep. two goals from Sterling, and a brilliant, brilliant taken goal from Gundogan. Yep. Big performance from Manchester City. They now find themselves in the first place. Yep. One game ahead of everyone else, but same points with Liverpool. Yep. But certainly having a better goal difference, a positive ten goal difference, which should be opening things up at the top. What did City do right in this particular game? You know, they, they simply won the title, Tony. They want to win the title. And Liverpool should, should know that after, after this performance against Chelsea. These guys have scored 74 four goals this season. Which is astonishing. Astonishing, Tony. When you look at the, the level they are moving at, they will be hitting 100 again uh, at the end of the season. But it is, it is the urge, Tony, to want, wanting to win from, from, from Man City. That, that, for me, I thought they did right. From the onset, they just kept attacking. And in the first three minutes, they, they had a goal there. And Chelsea had no answers. Every time you look at Man City attacking, they look to be getting a goal. Five attempts on target, four goals. That's a good, good return, Tony. Big, big performance from Manchester City all around in this particular game. Big, big credit to Pep and his side. He, this guy is a perfectionist. Yep. Even at four goals to nil, you yep. are seeing him pushing his side, turning Wanting away more, when yeah. mistakes. He's suddenly a guy that's pushing these players. He's getting the best out of each and every one. Don't forget Manchester City beat Chelsea without the likes of Silva in this yep. game, David yep. Silva. Yep. Without Leroy Sané. No. Mahrez coming on later in the game. So it, it shows you how good they can be. Yeah. For Chelsea, yeah. losing six goals to nil yeah. after a five-nil win, yeah. the coach suddenly <laughs> needs to wake these guys up. He has to wake these guys up. But for me, I think it's the coach, Tony, who needs to wake himself up. <laughs> but by, by, by seeing the right formation. One, Tony, Sari does not tweak his, his formation. What he brings to the pitch is what he wants to finish up with. Two, he's, he's kept playing Jorginho. The, the media has criticized Jorginho. Everyone says Jorginho is not good enough for, for the side. He was run ragged. But he still keeps playing uh, uh, Jorginho. So we say Jorginho is a master of, 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 of ah. course. He's a master of the Sari ball. But the Sari ball has burst. It's no more, Tony. So I think Sari must find a way how to change this lineup. Big, big problems for, Sar for Mauricio Sari, of course. We, yeah. we could see that the pressure that he's feeling as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, he, he's not getting the best from his players. He has to find a way of motivating them. Kepa Arizabalaga, 70 yeah. million pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't have a big save in this particular game. No. He's not a 70 million man for me. Yeah. If, you're to, if you're to base on this 6-0 performance, yeah. a goalkeeper of that caliber yeah. has to come up in the big games like this to show his worth and he suddenly didn't show it. Of course, uh, the rest of the guys were struggling up front. We've talked about, like you said, Jorginho. He's not the creative player that you need. Yeah. He doesn't support the attack no. as much as Fernandinho supports the Manchester City attack. Yeah. You see when he's creating spaces for the for every last. Yeah. So it's it's a place where we need to get Kante back here. I don't yeah. know how 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 long it will take Mauricio Sarri to see that. But of course, this was suddenly his worst day at the office. Big big problems for them. They've suddenly not enjoyed any away football ever since the turn of the new year. Yeah. This Chelsea side they've struggled against the big sides they've not won away for uh, against the top six side yeah. uh, <clears throat> this Chelsea they've lost four goals against Bournemouth yeah. again six goals to nil yeah. and that has made them uh, slide down into the sixth place yeah that, that's the result only that you get if you're not if, if your team is going to give out six goals you have to drop of the top four but I look at this Chelsea side and there are a lot of culprits there you've mentioned the goalkeeper you've mentioned Jorginho not good enough if, even Alonso has dropped off of his best uh, Higuain, we, we had said, is this the game where he has to audition and, and tell us that he is the top man for Chelsea? He, he wasn't firing. He could not commit the He had a brilliant shot in the second he half. He had one shot that I mean, brilliantly saved by, by Ederson there. But this Chelsea side, to me, I, I think they need to become professional and try to either do damage control or get a result. Get a goal or two for the fans. They were so poor. Don't forget, they still have a very big Run, run of fixtures coming up yeah. with meeting Manchester United in the FA Cup yeah. next Monday. Yeah. And then they still have Manchester City again in the Carabao Cup final. So it's... It, they, and no and then Tottenham to in the Premier League. There's no time to rest. No, no time, yeah. He needs to find a way of motivating this side. Six goals to nil for Pep. 
big, big game, of course, now that taking him fast into first place yeah. once again ahead of a Liverpool side that won earlier in the week. We'll be back after the break with more of the results. Don't go away.